Okay, Lady Vengeance, or Sympathy for Lady Vengeance. This is the, the third movie in the Vengeance series. Ironically, I've not seen Mr. Vengeance or Old Boy yet, so my Netflix queue got kind of swapped around, so I saw the last one first. Like most films that are Korean, this film has a lot going on. Yeah. Every character gets a small amount of backstory, and it all actually makes sense as the story progresses. You have a young girl who confesses to a crime she didn't commit, the crime of essentially killing children, because the killer threatens to kill her newborn. So while she's in prison, she learns about all the different inmates and slowly begins to hatch her revenge, as well as get revenge on other people. So when you hear a background story of somebody, you're hearing it because that's going to be part of what she uses for her masterful plot to get back at the person who wrongfully imprisoned her. Like most movies in this trilogy that I found out through some really light research, you know, one of the big costs of these things is that even though you get vengeance, it doesn't really bring you peace. You know, this movie is chock full of symbolism. This movie you can probably actually watch two or three times and probably still get more out of it. Now I saw the regular version, not the color to white version. There was a version of this film where it's got fairly bright colors and as the movie progresses they get more and more muted as it ends being black and white. Oh, this is a very beautifully done movie. There's a lot going on in this. There's a lot of context, a lot of little clues here and there, a lot of societal norms. You know, this movie is fairly deep. That being said, when I read the synopsis and I'm thinking, okay, it's a woman getting revenge, I thought it'd be slightly more on the violent side. And then I saw that it was part of the Asian extreme line. I was like, okay, again, probably some little more on the, you know, when I think extreme, I'm thinking more along the lines of, you know, more towards the violence and less towards, like, here's an immaculately beautifully done film. So if you're walking in there thinking you're going to see you know, a woman like viciously and brutally getting her revenge, you'll be kind of let down. But instead you're thinking, I'll see a woman beautifully craft a plan to get revenge, and then the revenge at the end be unsatisfying, then Lady Vengeance is right up your alley. 